Um, the next slide, I love this because it really is spot on that part of becoming resilient is getting comfortable with the uncomfortable. One of the things that we know is life is always changing. We can't control it. And the more that we can surrender to that, and the more we can just kind of go with the flow, the easier time we have. So there's somebody here doing a, a bendy bend. Um, and I actually have a yoga teacher who says that yoga is actually designed to help you get more comfortable with being uncomfortable. And that's different than being in pain. We don't want to push ourselves to the point where we're in panic or pain. But we want to get in that place where we're challenging ourselves and stressing, our, stretching. Um, so there are three bullet points here, cognitive flexibility, uncertainty, tolerance, and adjustment and change. So when we think about cognition, it's how, how adaptable is our thought process? Are we rigid or are we more creative and open to new ideas? And I would think in the field of work you do, there's a lot of cognitive flexibility in science and in math. That you, I would think that that's actually a high skill that you have. Um, the uncertainty tolerance, it's really interesting. Humans thrive with the degree of stability and structure. Uh, those of you that have children and you're raising children, having some degree of predictability and regularity helps us feel safe. Um, but in life, things are always changing, so we have to get a little more comfortable with things being uncertain. And right now, there's a lot of uncertainty. We have a national election, a presidential election. We have this pandemic. Uh, LA is still on pretty hard lockdown orders. There's a lot of uncertainty. Are kids going back to school? Are they not going back to school? And then how well do we um, adjust and change? And what's really amazing about humans is that we're actually pretty adaptable. I don't know how you're feeling now with your current setup at work, but I would imagine that some of you have adjusted to the new routine or have at least found some good things about it. So getting comfortable with the uncomfortable, we've talked about this. Often you think about the comfort zone as something that's good. I feel safe and secure. But the comfort zone can also be boring and stagnant. Um, I, when I think about comfort, I think about like favorite old coats or old jeans that you just love, and yet they're actually getting pretty pretty old and, and uh, in need of a new pair of jeans or in need of a new coat. And it can be uncomfortable to get that new garment because we're so used to the old one. Um, so, you know, it's... it's uh, we always kind of hold on and then finally release. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.